I'm Anil Kumar and here is another question on optimization where we will learn how to maximize the profit. The question is, in the planning of a restaurant, it is estimated that if there are seats for 40 to 80 people, the weekly profit will be $8 per place. However, if the seating capacity goes over 80, the weekly profit on each seat will be decreased by 4 cents times the number of seats above 80. What should be the seating capacity in order to yield greatest weekly profit? So let's first write down an equation which will represent the profit, right? So profit is given to us as 8, profit is dollar eight for 40 to 80 seats, let's say, right? If we have seats which are greater than 80, in that case, what happens? In that case, a profit decreases by 4 cents per increase in seat, right? So that means if we are greater than, that means if we have something like uh, 80 plus n, if n is the number of seats more than 80, in that case, the profit in dollars will go down by 8 minus uh, 0 0.04 times n cents. So that is the amount by which the profit per seat goes down. Do you understand? And these are the total number of seats. So these are your number of seats. And that is the profit per seat, right? So this is profit per seat, right? So now in this scenario, what should be the expression for profit? Profit should be number of seats into profit per seat, right? So we can write down our expressions. We say profit per seat, let's say n is the number of seats, will be, so n is increased number of seats. Remember that, right? So, so profit will be 80 plus n times 8 minus 0 0.04. Zero four n right, so it's a good idea to expand and simplify this. So eight times eighty is six forty, and then we can multiply this by this. We just so two decimal places, and one three point two. That means three point two n right. So we get minus three point two n. Now multiplying with n, we get plus eight n. And this one we get minus 0.04 n square. So that becomes a quadratic equation in in n for the profit, right? So we can always combine these terms and write profit in terms of additional seeds is 640 minus 3.2 from 8 will give us 4.8, right? So it is plus 4.8 n and we have minus 0.04 n square. Now rate of change of profit is rate of change of 640 is 0, so constant, right, plus 4.8 and here we have minus 2 times, that means 0 0.08 n. To maximize, that should be equated to 0, right. Now we can find what n is and from here we can calculate n as equal to, let me write here, n will be equals to 4.8 divided by 0 0.08, right? So you can divide 4.8 by 0 0.08, so you get 4.8 divided by 0 0.08, that gives us 60. So 60 is additional seats, right? 60 is additional seats. Now, these additional seats are going to give us the maximum. How do we know that? We can find the second derivative of this, right? So there are two ways to find. So first is we can find the second derivative. Second derivative from here, we can have minus 0 0.08. Now, this is negative. So this is less than 0. That means maximum. Is it okay? So that is from the second derivative test. From the first derivative test, what you can do is you can plug in a value in this expression which is greater than 60 and less than 60. That is to say that you can analyze uh, your derivative itself. So, so we'll, we can analyze derivative that is this. Take a test point. 
So n is 60. That is the expression which we are going to analyze this time. You can take a test value which is less than 60 for n, so n then which is greater than 60, right? So we can take n as 0, right? less than 60 and we can take n as 100 for example so and then place this value here if I write 0 here then I get positive 4.8 then clearly the rate of change is increasing if I write 100 here right so 100 times this will be 8 and negative 8 is more than positive value so it's negative so it changes rate of change changes from increasing to decreasing resulting into maximum right therefore the profit is maximum okay now read the question once again what should be the sitting capacity in order to yield greatest weekly profit so what is the capacity capacity is given here right that's the capacity so so the answer should be written in terms of capacity which is maximum profit for how many seats? 80 plus n. So don't forget to add 60 to 80 to write down your answer and that gives you 140 seats, right? So that is the answer, right? At times when we asked for what is the maximum profit, you can substitute this value here in this expression, find the maximum profit also, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.